it's official. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, so that's fantastic. I just checked out the video and my head's cut off. That's wonderful. So that makes for a very entertaining video for everybody to watch, I'm sure. Forgive me on that. I hope you still stuck around for what I had to say and leave your opinions below. Anyway, hey guys, how you doing today? I hope everybody's doing wonderful. I just want to touch base on this new DJI band here in the uh, United States, which of course I think is ridiculous and horrible, but that's only on the federal level. And I say only because it doesn't pertain to us as consumers. And whether you be a recreational or a part 107 drone pilot, doesn't affect us yet. Any federal agency or anybody that gets federal aid cannot fly DJI drone in the United States anymore. Uh, I mean, how ridiculous. These things have been flying around for what, I think DJI released 2010, first camera drone. So they've been flying around for, let, let's just say 10, 12, 13 years. Look at all the information they could have gotten by now. Quite a bit, I'd say. But, you know, maybe they know more than we do. DJI is the most reputable, respected, number one drone company, the most technologically advanced drone company in the world. They're just number one, they're the best. And that's why I, myself, to get it out of here, I fly, of course, a DJI, a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. It's an amazing machine, I tell you what, I love this thing. It's, it's just an amazing piece of machinery. It's absolutely wonderful and these things save so many people's lives in the united states our first responders use dji drones uh, i mean it's like the number one go-to drone for any first responders it just amazes me I, I would love to know your opinions please leave your comments below and tell me if you agree with me if you disagree or any other opinion you might have on this it's just ridiculous. I mean, what's next? So, so many things are being taken away from us and banned and you can't do this, can't do that. I'm almost 50 years old and I've seen a lot in my day already. That's just, the world's gone to, you know, the world's gone to shit. And, and America, America needs some work. I'm telling you. DJI, oh, that's another thing. DJI has also had so many audits by private companies uh, the U.S. government, and they've never found anything wrong with DJI. Never found any leaked information or leaked data to the Chinese government. I, I mean, there's so many things made in China. This phone that I'm recording on right now is made in China. Maybe it's spying on us. Who knows? There's so many things that are made in China. What, are we going to ban everything? We'll have to ban all our phones. These things have been around for a lot longer than drones. There's so many things made in China. So, uh, let me know what you think about this. I think it's horrible. I can kind of understand when it comes to the to infiltrate federal secrets or the government secrets, um, just because it's a Chinese-based company. That goes for all Chinese-based drone companies. They're all banned federally in the United States now. The only major drone maker in the United States is Skydio, and they've kind of cornered the market on this uh, federal and the commercialization of the drones, you know, like uh, first responders because they went out of the um, consumer drone market a long time ago. So they kind of, they just can't even compete with DJI anyway. I don't think anybody can. Nobody can, come on, let's be real. Nobody can compete with DJI. So I guess that's just my thoughts. I wanted to get that in here before it got dark and then I'll continue on this mess. Let me know what you think. I'd really love to know because I, I, it's just ridiculous to me. And uh, oh, some other, this is unscripted by the way, so forgive me. I think the only thing I wrote down here was uh, Brendan Groves, Vice President of Regulatory and Policy Affairs at Skydio. Now, he's an, an American war hero. He's been in the military. I can't remember what branch right now, so forgive me on that. Got an excellent record with the military and America. And, well, he's part of Skydio. He's like the Vice President, so uh, he's kind of cornered the commercial drone market now that DJI is banned. I, there's something just funny about that, and I'll, I'll definitely do some more research into this. I just didn't have time today because I had to get out here and do stuff. But um, Russ over at 51 Drones, he's got a good comprehensive video about it. Uh, check him out. Make sure to go check him out. But uh, DJI, number one company, the best drone in the world. And banned. What's next, people? What is next?
I don't even want to know. All right, let me get in here. I want to touch base on something else here. Where are we at? Before this video gets 23 minutes like the last one, I will be posting that part two. Let's see what we got here. A couple things here. I'm just going to put it on screen and let you all read it. Maybe I'll read along with you. The website's pulled up here, giving us information on this ban. And you know who signed this bill? Mr. Sleepy Joe. This guy right here, yeah. Yeah, he's the one who said, yeah, let's go for it. Most of these people have probably never even seen a drone, let alone fly one. And they're just going by what hearsay. It's ridiculous. And I've got a lot more topics on things like that. Like the... Uh, let's see, the remote ID, that's definitely one of them. But that's a whole other video. I don't mind it going to the government. Of course, they need to know what's going on sometimes, make sure nobody's acting stupid. But when it comes to Karens or anybody that wants to start problems or steal your equipment, with a tap of the finger they can find you, I don't think that's right. No, no. Wrong. Anyway, another video... Well, here's some stuff here. I will definitely get up on the screen here. DJA calls concerns completely unfounded. Adam Welsh, the head of global policy for DJI, told the I team these concerns are completely unfounded. I mean, we've had numerous audits, cybersecurity and data security audits that show no data is going back to China, Welsh said. We access data in our US servers from US employees. They are the ones that have access to it. Well said, DJI's competitors are weaponizing America's fears about China without any facts to back it up. I agree. Uh, I don't know if you agree, but I do. We have competitors that are not competing on quality, but trying to compete just on not being Chinese. Well said, it's really unfortunate because these products are used to save lives. These products are used to keep officers safe which is so true. It's amazing all the things that these drones do. They save lives. They search for people. They search for suspects, um, rescue efforts. I mean, it's just amazing. This is going to impact so much. Mini, mini log dog. Mini, mini. My log dog. Mini. Anyway, that's going to impact so much. So much. It's just such a negative thing. It's not good. Welsh categorically states that DJI has never turned over data from a U.S. drone to the Chinese government. There are drones made here in the United States, but they do not come up, in our opinion, to the level that DJI drones that we are using come to. It's bam, right there. Nothing else competes. Skydio definitely still doesn't compete. Come on. It's terrible. What else we got here? DJI says banning it in the U.S. will hurt the entire drone ecosystem. True. DJI commands more than 70% of the global drone market. Even, even though its technology has regularly been far and away better than the competition, its ties to China have put it in hot water with the United States government agencies. Growing concerns over privacy and the security of data gathered by DJI drone products have led to a series of bans over the last few years, including companies' addition to what has colloquially, 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 it was colloquially, what is colloquially, what is colloquially, what is colloquially known as the economic blacklist in 2020 and a familiar blacklist, and a similar blacklist at the Department of Defense in 2022 that lists DJI as a Chinese military company. Come on. FCC officials have called for an outright ban of the company's drones, citing national security risks. Right now, I gotta cut this video. I'll continue it in a little bit, and uh, we'll put some of this up on screen for you to check out. It just sucks, people. DJI, number one, right here. They're the best. Mavic 2 Pro, amazing piece of machinery. All right, guys, you all have a wonderful day. Hope everybody's doing great. Be safe, treat each other good, and don't be a deek. Yeah, man.